anymore. Sephiroth!
Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over.
Aerith. Wake up. Stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. Tifa, come on. I guess not. Anyway, you haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed to show at an important event. Made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have, if you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn, I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. <laughs> How very astute. Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. Our father's dream, accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> but an imitation is all you deserve. Like 
gold mines. <laughs> dreamt that it all felt way too real just as worlds unite so too do they part <laughs> but who's to say they can't unite again. Just a wee bit higher. Screw you, cat. How's this? Oh, shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do, anyway? for takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. Reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, one sec. You have to promise not to look up. 
Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Okay, getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? <sighs> then I'll send up smoke! Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Man, what a lovely game, right? So that's the end of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which was, in my opinion, a fantastic game from beginning to end. Um, I want to say that at the end there, it's kind of weird. Maybe we have entered a multiverse because Cloud got to fight with Zack. Um, Aerith, I'm not sure what her fate truly is, um, only because... They portrayed her as dead, but then Cloud is the only one that can see her. The black materia ended up in Cloud's possession after it was clear materia at first at the very end, end there. So uh, there's a lot of questions that need to be solved in the next and final entry of this game. Did Aerith die? Is Sephiroth really good at this point, but Cloud is actually bad? Will Cloud... Are, are we dealing with true Cloud? Like um, he found himself in Avent Children, or are we dealing with still with mentally broken Cloud? What? Who is Cloud overall in this game? We don't know. I truly don't know. Tifa, Barrett are all questioning him. Yuffie and the rest are actually just like, eh, we'll go along with it. We don't know Cloud like you guys do. 
So there's a lot of um, questions that need to be answered in this next game, which I will render a guess. It will probably be released uh, probably at the tail end of the PlayStation 5 life cycle, which would be a good thing, in my opinion. Um, things I want to talk about. Cloud still is a great character, but he is uh, confusing at a lot of times in this game and everything he wants to be himself but then he fights to be somebody different a soldier he's dealing with three personalities himself sephiroth essence and zach overall tifa uh best best girl tifa um just trying her best just to be there i actually love that um that cutscene and um, when they actually went on a date and everything that's my favorite overall with her and she's still a kick-ass character barrett Barrett um, fought hardship and everything, fought his friend Don and all that. Uh, it really, really um, good character overall. Yuffie, basically everybody's little sister and everything. That annoying sister that just don't shut the heck up and have uh, motion sickness. Then we have Aerith. Aerith, honestly, is has... I, actually became become one of my um, favorite characters in this game I did not like Aerith and remake or the original or part of this game but I found uses for her towards the end and everything I found her uses so overall she she actually earned a place in my favorite uh, FF7 character and everything um, Cat Seth I like how he um he he two faced it the whole gang and everything. No things, Cat K Sith. I know I seen I played with you in the original and I seen that Avon Children how you really are. You earn my respect, but at the same time, you better have some better moves in the next game. Then we have Red Thirteen. Uh, I can't remember his his actual name. Not not me or something like that. Uh, I. I have struggled with vengeance mode and everything. I still I know how it works, but then at the same time, I still have the whole operator's mode with Cloud in my head and everything. Great moveset with Red 13, uh, Square Enix. That's, that was good. Then we have Vincent Valentine and Sid, Hi uh, Sid Highwind, I believe his name is. Both both characters will pro most likely be playable in the next entry, the next and final entry of this game. Uh, I like how they included Elena um, partnered up with Rude in the first half and then I would have been really disappointed if they did not include Reno and Rude in, um, in this game as a tag team. That was a hard battle so you'll see a lot of edit cuts with that uh battle and everything then we got to face off against sung and elena which the turks are just op overall i honestly just like the turks too uh so the whole multiverse thing i want to get into with cloud waking up in zach's verse and everything does that mean two clouds exist at that point i'm not sure because you have cloud from the uh we'll call it we'll put it like this the tifa verse then we have cloud from the Aerith verse which one is real um who is who and why are you fighting hold on uh i thought there was gonna be like a epilogue and everything not just yet uh who uh, which one of the two is actually real which one is actually the fraud in my opinion, in the final, final parts of the game, I mean the le the next entry, next and final entry of this game, Cloud will most likely have to fight the demons that he's um, been battling, and or somebody close to him, Tifa, and Hint is going to have to really take on Cloud and everything, just to knock some sense into him. Maybe the whole gang and everything will have to uh, fight him. If you're wondering why my voice is all scratchy, it's because I haven't drank anything and I've just been grinding this game out all the way up until the end. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, winded from that and I have not and I have to drink something. So something I really will call out is that the next game, next and final game will most likely be FF7 Reunion. That's going to combine everything. Zach's verse, Cloud's verse all into one because we see in Zach's verse Avalanche is mostly is dead Tifa uh, Red 13 Barrett they're all dead Cloud and Aerith it was the only 
potential survivors or well i'm writing them off as dead but are they truly dead or was they just unconscious and taken back to hojo's lab at shimra in the midgard for experimentation well we touch that um area uh what what was their true fate because we just see them being taken onto a helicopter and that's it so that that I'm not sure what what to expect in the next game. One thing's for certain, Sephiroth, Genova. The, one thing's for certain, Sephiroth and Genova most likely will be the villains, or everybody who we've seen um, in their trials and everything. Yuffie will probably have to face off against Nero. I think his name was Neo, Nero, something like that. Aerith will have to most. Well, she's. Let's just say that she's dead for now. Uh, Tifa will have to come face to face with her demons and have to face off against uh, somebody. I will say Cloud, um, just to bring him back to himself. Cloud will have to face against himself too. Bear will have to probably face off against um, Dying again because he um, had to put him down and everything. Yuffie, Yuffie will have to face off against Scarlet. Most likely um, Yuffie and um, Bear will have to face off against Scarlet one final time. And um, Vince will have to come to uh, come to come to beat up uh, the Turks and everything. So honestly, above ten out of ten with this game. If you are a Final Fantasy fan, if you um, just need something to take the edge off, or you're just looking for something to pass the time until your next favorite game actually comes out, even for first timers, get this game. But Please be warned, play Remake or the original before you play um, Rebirth. And please know some of the lore behind Final Fan behind this game, or else you'll just be confused as heck. So, with that being said, I'm going to let this play out. And then I'm going to hope, that if there's an epilogue, I'm going to let, this, let that play. And if not... And as usual, if you enjoy the content, leave a like and comment down below. Follow me on my social links. That includes TikTok and Twitch, which is in the bottom of my YouTube channel here. Be sure to hit that follow and subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. Whenever I go live on Twitch, you're going to get notified. I do midnight releases whenever um, a good game is starting to come out. My hopes is that the next Square Enix game to come out is Kingdom Hearts 4. Please, Square Enix, if you guys um, love your fans... Implement some of this um, FF7 remake um, stuff into Kingdom Hearts 4 and let Yozura be a playable character in Kingdom Hearts 4 because he was OP and I still have nightmares of fighting him in Rewind or Remind or whatever it was called, the DLC. So, honestly, next thing for this game before I put it to rest is to get the Platinum. And to uh, probably do some different scenarios and everything. So this game will stay on the PlayStation 5 it, um, for a hot minute until I actually uh, platinum this game. And then it can finally be put to rest. With that being said, I'm going to just let this play out. And hopefully, let me check and see if there's copyrighted music. If not, then I'll let the music play. If it is, then just sit in silence and watch the credits. See ya.